Hello everybody, welcome to your Scorpio season reading for this current year. I don't know what the fuck happened to my hair. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, everyone, this is an all signs read. I'll still call them out regardless. Energies, people, whatnot. Nobody gives a shit, right? Um, this is for the season, all signs, so no worries. If it resonates with your story, you can, cannot be, no worries. It could be just situations around you, it could be people around you, it might even be your goddamn goldfish. Nobody's really angry about the goldfish. Except they don't remember shit. Because these goldfish, they only have like a three second memory, like one lap around the pool, and it's like, oh, I'm new world. You know, like that's what gold, that, that's how I try to explain my memory to my girlfriend. And she gets mad at me because I forget shit. And it's not like I forget it. It's just I have to access all the other shit that's in my head first in order to get through the door, in order to open the compartment with the cabinet with the box that has a lockbox inside that I need the key for. Sometimes I lose the key. Sometimes I just wreck the fucking train. <laughs> you know, Jesus has to take the wheel sometimes, you know? <laughs> anyway, so this is a reading for Scorpio. I got several scenarios already, right? First off, I actually did this as like my six ways of Sunday spread, and then I remembered, oh yeah, this is a, this is a, a, a seasonal spread, so I'm not doing that. I'll, I like doing like my um, looking glass spread for the things. I need to start doing looking glass readings again, because that was what I did for my randos, but I'm rambling. Anyway, um, these scenarios popped out, but when I first started doing your cards, it, I kept dropping I cannot for life me drop one card, you know, until I actually fix the position of the card. Um, someone's not sure where to put their weights when it comes to, like, separating from either a third-party situation, overindulgences, possibly drugs, you know. Happy shit, right? Not really happy. Don't listen to me because it's not the right thing to say. I like it, actually, too. But it's still. Yeah. Someone's kind of indulging in that. Um... The main reason, which is, like, weird for Scorpio season, Scorpius, I don't know, whatever, um, someone seems like they're missing their mark in order to get between two people, possibly same-sex shit, like, it looks like they're about to fight, but they really don't even want to fight each other, they're looking at each other like, this is gonna be some awesome rough sex. I love you. You know, like, that, that's really what's gonna, like, look at them, they don't even look like they're angry. He looks like he wants to hit this person. He's just like, I, I can't do it. It's like Lou and Reb. <laughs> Which is a terrible comparison. Because, like... I don't know. I actually ended up watching the last of the series. And I was very upset. Because it was a cliffhanger. And I can't say anything. Because I don't think my girlfriend has seen it. I'm not sure if she saw it. So... But I was really fucking pissed with how the ending of that went. Especially considering how... I, I can't fucking say it. Oh my god. Anyway. Um, and, but yeah, it's like, this person tried to almost like separate these two of these arrows and they missed their mark. And now they're sitting there like this hangry bitch just being like, I cannot believe it. nobody's here to worship me. Like, it, it, it's almost like one of those. So somebody, somebody, I don't know. Um, Ghetto Nun. I always like talk about her because that's literally the only... That's literally, like, the only tarot reader I actually watch serially, like, she's my only one. I, I, like, I occasionally still, I, like, I still watch the masculine ones, but, like, the last one I watched, I'm probably not gonna watch him anymore, because it's really not necessary. Why bring, drag back old energy into your happy field if it's not necessary, right? Right, so, there's no need for that, for sure. So those are those first cards that came out. Then Scorpio, we, we have this right here. Someone's working to keep you down. Or someone's working not to end something, even though they're supposed to. Like some cycle's supposed to end, and someone possibly isn't trying to end it. It could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, but it could be anybody too. Just with that energy and shit. There's no love here. Someone's all guarded with their emotions, ready to take off. They're being a spoiled brat about it. But, unfor but I well, almost said unfortunately, but this is a pairing. This is like twins, almost. Don't know what kind of twins. No fucking clue, but whatever. So that's the cards that came out. So whatever it is, it probably goes with all of those. Or it's just several scenarios, different scenarios that you guys can go with it. Um, there could be some Scorpios that are being stopped or people are attempting to stop them. 
sure if that's a good idea, because, like, I wouldn't want to piss off a Scorpio. I love them. They terrify the fuck out of me, so you never know what makes one snap, but still, fucking cool. Anyway, um, above energy. Magician. How long has it been since I talked about this motherfucker? This magician right here. A seven of swords reverse. I feel like they use their magic. I feel like I feel like this is the magician I've read for many times before. Like, like whoever these people are in the background, I don't think they're people. And it's like sneakery is not working the best way. Like, hey, it seems like it's a little bit backfiring, right? But they're still there in their magic, so it's like whatever. Down below in the situation, Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. Well, this isn't even a situation. This is the below energy. Um, up above, there's a magician just doing fuck shit that they're not going to get away with. You know? Down below, we got a pair. In fact, like, if this was Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, this would be both of them. If they were both off their throne, but on equal positions. Like, you know. Not quite there yet, but they're getting there. Um, he looks steady. She looks like she's exhausted from taking care of shit. And everyone is being bored and dead around her. So I don't fucking know. Maybe at least she didn't forget to feed her kids or whatever, right? Um, thoughts and feelings. Someone's cre trying to be creative, and they're trying to keep themselves in a bubble with that creativity too. Like looking at options on how to produce this bubble, right? The roots of those thoughts and feelings is, <laughs> which is like, I literally pulled this card for, um, Taurus. There's actually a couple cards I pulled for Taurus I hadn't seen before. A lot of these cards I normally see. This one's new. That one's new. This one's new. Um, Bubble Bitch I've seen before. There was one in particular that freaked me out because I actually saw it in a dream and I put it out for Taurus and I was like, what the fuck? Oh, crazy. Anyway, um... Star Reverse with Seymour from fucking Final Fantasy X. Like, a boss battle. Like, in a video game. Like, doesn't he look like somebody evil that you have to fight with a fucking sword? And weird shaped pants? Yes, yes he does. This person doesn't communicate. Or, um, they could, or they are in an energy of total arrogance. Because, you know, this is, I, I feel like, guys, I think this is the magician's energy. Because it's not, nothing's healing here. No one's cooperating with this energy. Um, this is arrogance. This is overindulgence almost in your own ego. And that's what's fueling this and the thoughts and feelings. And they're trying to get creative with that shit in your bubble. They're like, focus. Never even notice. No punches left to roll with. You've got to keep your focus. You want to say so. No. Um, <laughs> um, immediate thing to come up for whoever resonates in this situation. People's particular querent. Um, particularly magician like, right? Um, this motherfucker just barks from his seat. Like, look at this. Like, he's not going to battle. He's just being like, ah! And just like, you know, screaming shit. But acting like they're portraying wisdom on a motherfucker. It's just like, what the fuck is this shit? Looking like a sage and shit. When in reality, he's just some weirdo who rides on a goddamn blood sucking fee. Flea. Fee. I'll talk today. Thank you very much. Immediate obstacle challenge for this person. Um, well, the problem with this, I really feel like this is a magician, but it could be anybody, but I'm just going to call this person the this queer or whatever this reading is, the magician, right? So just go with it. Um, well, um, this person, securities could possibly lead them to a deadly situation. Well, not really deadly, just more like, you know, um, fuck, you know, and, and the fuckery is, is they're losing their beauty. You know, like, this is what? Nine of fire? This is, like, guarding. 
Or at least it should be, but, like, these cars are fucking weird. There's, like, 80-something of them. I think I told Taurus that, but I can't remember. But, yeah, it's like someone's losing their beauty and losing their guard because, like, um, of their, what they're trying to keep secure. I don't know if this person is, I don't know if this magician's just trying to keep, um, his image up. But it's waning. Like, you know, you can only do a certain magic or spell and maintain it for so long. Then tolerance comes in and the magic doesn't always last forever unless you find a, a way to charge it. Which is why sigils and wards are really good. Because you could just redraw that shit and burn the same symbol and we'll go all the way to the other ones. You know, like that works. But I don't feel like this dude's smart enough to even know how to do that shit proper. You know, I feel like it's this person trying to draw sigils. They would not immediately, I don't want to fucking put this as a practitioner. Okay, there's a difference when you shuffle, right? There are people who bridge and fix the cards, right? Then there are people who shuffle the cards. As so, shove them together, don't even restack them, and then just punch the fuck out of them. That, that's the difference, right? It's like, fix your fucking cards, don't punch your cards, have some fucking respect for them, you know, they help you do shit. You know, just because they aren't, like, regular, just because they aren't alive does not mean that they don't have a purpose or a soul. It's like a golem off of, like, um, Darksiders 2, if you've ever played that game. I have been referencing video games. Well, life is a video game anyway, like, kind of. Still, you know, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Um, end result and what's to come, or how, or basically what's the results of all this? Something doesn't work in the love department, or something doesn't work, I think, to capture some bitch. I'm not sure. Because there's a bitch over here. There's a bitch up yonder. Um, the vibration and energy of this entire read is the Ace of Wands. New beginning. Something to birth something with a bitch. Like a bitch. Like a bitch. Like a bitch. I just want to touch. Like a bitch. Like a bitch, I just wanna dive it. Looking for no focus, going out of town, gonna be a crocus, crocus. You like crocus, crocus? Do you really like what the fuck? That's not even a word. To the okay, whatever. That was weird because that's not the words to the song. Okay, anyway, let's continue on with this reading before I weird myself out. Swear to the last few readings I've done for you guys have been fucking weird shit and creepy. Like, what was your last reading? Someone was annoyed and ready to strike. It's so, alright. Up above this magician. I have the sneaky shit with his magic. I don't think that it's gonna succeed though. Okay. Um, I feel like wanting to get the money, but they're not delivering the right package. It's those people who don't fucking shuffle their cards correctly and then just deck the fuck out of them. They deck their decks. And it's like, stop decking your deck because it doesn't help, you know? Like, there's no point in like. Like, everyone has a different style. I just, I don't know. I grew up with a father who was a pastor, and if I ever punched the Bible, he would kill me, and I kind of take use the same thing. It, it, it's not that it's useless, it's paper. It's just a respect thing. You know, I want people to respect my beliefs. I should respect theirs, but I, 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 I will never understand punching your shit. Like, that means, like, you spent money on that. Take care of it. Like, <laughs> Well, yeah, this dude's trying to create some sort of success for himself. He's not really delivering the package. In fact, he doesn't think the package is necessary, whatever it is. Um, feels like he can cause people to feel defeated. Feeling like... Hmm. They want to defeat whoever this person is, so they feel like they can't go anywhere. Could be... Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy right here. It could be a provider person, or maybe they're portraying themselves as a provider person. But I don't think that's the case. I think this person is the person they're trying to get to stick around because they are fucking talking shit while they're sitting here watching this tree, seeing what produces, right? Hmm. 
Like, it's weird, because, like, I've been getting an ink, I've been getting the feeling about doing this, and, like, I was supposed to do the car mix at some point. I don't remember what the fuck happened with that. Like, something happened. And... I can't remember. No! I didn't do the... Okay, never mind. I'm not even going into that scenario. Anyway, let's start card, please. Ugh. Yeah, and they're not waiting. This person isn't waiting to see what is produced. Oh God, that's why it's fucked up. This person has no patience. This person, this magician right here, this magician who I've been reading on for a while, they don't have any patience. I mean, if, if there's love between them and somebody, someone ain't looking for it. Because, uh, no, I'm not investing in that shit, you know? Uh, down below in the situation, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, there's counterparts here. I'm not sure who's who. What's up with this? So that's from the past, y'all know each other. That might be the problem. This dude's old. But y'all know each other from back in the day, back from the past, or this is like a past situation or somebody here. This Queen of Pentacles might also be um, someone's partner, spouse, sibling, I feel like, too. Possibly. Both of them are pretty stable. Both of them have their strengths and weaknesses. Um, he is a pretty, pretty guy. She has the pentacles or the money or something. She has something of value. Even though most people don't appreciate it, though, I feel like. Yeah, this shit from the past, like, there's some, uh, somebody. What the fuck is, okay, one more, hold on, one more. Somebody attempted, possibly this woman over here, Attempted to escape a disaster, or attempts to escape a disaster this season. It doesn't seem like they make it with a cherry reverse. Could definitely be with a cancer involved here, or just that cancer energy. Ugh. Some betrayal was not supposed to happen. Between a king and the queen of the pentacles. Like, whoever this magician is... Like, there's somebody from the past. They are somebody who is coming up to a bitch that's in water, right? Which is just like, I mean, if you need a bath, baby, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll go get you soap. It's okay. But, you know, he's, he's approaching on this bitch. And mind you, I turned the card over and I felt like, you know, he's been waiting a while because he looks way older in the shadow side than he does in the light side, right? This bitch tried to escape some disaster. Um, where there's a betrayal here that was never supposed to happen in the fucking first place. It wasn't even fated. Like, this person didn't even cause their own fate to happen. Um, I feel like the magician dude here came in and just fucked shit up. This shit was not supposed to happen. This person, this magician, this person or whatever, um. Mmm. They're trying to, wow, okay. This <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely the same magician who I read for like a year or two ago. I don't even remember how long it was. At least maybe last year, two years ago. One of the two. I can't remember, but oh my god. Oh, right. Clarifying on these two. So let's see what comes up after all of this happens. Because I don't, because I don't think this works, and I think this is what he hopes and wants to do. This, could, this, I mean, this person could be sending influences. Doesn't even have to be there, especially if they're a practitioner. You know, like you don't have to be there, but at the same time, it's like I can't tell if they're fucking with somebody or if they're fucking with this bitch. Because it seems like they're trying to go after this person, but it's like if it's for this woman, why is the King of Pentacles? Exalting her energy, because, you know, like, I, I add this into exalt to 
um, elaborate, to explain. The extra cards are there for clarification or or, or whatever the fuck people decide it's for. But it's like, if, if they're, the king and the queen of pentacles are both here together. Why is someone from the past only fucking with this woman? And it's like, hmm. I feel like the majority of you have dealt with him, so it's just like, hmm. All right, so up above, right? Someone might walk away unexpectedly, and someone's like, "What the fuck happened?" Could be someone with some fire in their chart. But someone does it with a lot of passion, a lot of gusto. That I think they actually thought about it, you know. I can't tell her. I can't tell if the person who's walking. I think. Okay, no. This motherfucker's dramatic as fuck. That's a fire sign thing. I, like, I smell my husband's Leo energy all over that shit. You know, you, you spend long enough with Leo. <laughs> with Aries moon and another eight in different places and a Libra rising. Mm. Nine, nine, nine places of Aries. But yeah, um, however... This magician is trying to get someone to walk away from another person. I mean, like, games and shit, right? Maybe this person's doing that, but this is on the side of the woman, so... Maybe this person feels like they need to walk away because this woman plays games or some shit. But... In reality, it's like the person who's getting blamed for doing shit that it's like they, they, they've never done something before or some shit. I don't know, like, because that's like my, like, oh, I'll just... I'll explain to you once not to get in my shit again, but if you do it, then I'm gonna bust your ass and you'll know better that time. You know, it, that's that card. It's just like, you know. Mm. I feel like they, someone doesn't know that they're taking something, but I don't know if that's what the magician is manipulating or what. Down below, though. No love's present. Ah. Uh, Someone has to heal their heart, but they don't want to be single. They don't know where to start with that shit. They don't know where to go because no doors are really open. It doesn't seem like anyone wants them to come home. And they can't seem to get along with not fucking anybody. Mm. That's, a, that's a fucking trip. That's the whole no love thing, though. Uh, there's no love... Because the dude who's human wanted to work on another person. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, though. There's no love here because someone was putting their heart and soul and working on something. I don't think it's actually a person, but this statue does represent an image of something. Maybe what this person could produce. Maybe it's an image of what they think that they are. I'm not sure. Oh, no, no, no. There's... <coughs> okay, anyway. So yeah, um quick thought. I think some magicians try to cost to separate, break up. That way, like, you know, dude can come in and be like, well, look at all this shit with you. Like, let me do some work on you, you know. I don't like that energy. What one dips? Yeah, no, that shit's gonna end real fucking quick. No, that's not gonna happen. One more. Brain is up to something. Like choking out a fucking lion. Oof. Who wants to choke a motherfucker out? I don't know fucking why. There are reasons. Everyone's got a reason for wanting to choke a bitch. Or a bastard. Well, I mean, if you're choking someone, they're gonna, they're gonna be a bitch. Yeah, you think will be your bitch, but still. Uh, this person, this magician of sorts, I almost dropped my phone. Oh my god, that would not have come back. Mm. I'm getting the feeling this magician is trying to create a scenario. Where I believe 
two people are together and they want to separate one from the other. Possibly. I could be wrong, though. All right. Thoughts and feelings. all the way over there that requires me to get the fuck up yeah, i'm not doing that now all right this person being creative in their little bubble space we're trying to create a, this their own cycle their own world that's their thoughts and feelings they can create this shit they can make it fucking happen i don't know but the fact that they're well the next coming thing out it makes them seem like a raving lunatic while they're trying to like look like a goddamn prophet messiah i i, I like they're losing their luster and it, whatever it is they're trying to do, it, I don't think it's going to work on whoever this female is. Oof. They're not being very justified. Or they don't, or, mm, like the justice card could be bad karma. It could be them doing shit that ain't too fair. You know, they've been working on this shit in order to cause this relationship to go down, possibly. This isn't, oh goddamn Scorpio. Like, this is so dramatic for your Steven. Just coming to fuck shit up already. Yeah. You know, there is an angry bitch seething just being like, if I breathe through my nose, I won't beat him as hard as I fucking want to. You know, that kind of energy, right? Because they left them, and they feel like they've been left out in the cold. So then the logical thing to do is turn your back in this situation, because this person really doesn't care. The thing is, um, there may be a lot of fish in the sea, but there's also a lot of trash in the sea. There's a lot of trash in the goddamn ocean that has strangled some fish, right? So someone goes on the hunt for some information on why someone didn't bother, like, getting up and then wanted to pretend that they didn't know everything was on fire. It's just like, no, motherfucker, you do a certain thing with your nose when you're asleep. You weren't asleep. Okay. Don't lie to me. <clears throat> Alright. What else with this justice card? So, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Alright, so... Hello. Hi. Don't mind me doing my cards. You can sit in here though if you want. Okay. Okay. That was Sarah, the prettiest girl in the world. Sometimes. Hmm. Your mom home yet? No. Mm -hmm. Alright. So. This injustice card right here. This don't make any goddamn sense. It's like they don't. It's almost like they don't think it's fair that they aren't the goodest boy ever. Which is like it's probably because you got fleas, motherfucker. Like shit. <laughs> like some out of old relationship they just can't get away from. I think. Where are the thoughts and feelings? We got some arrogance with the star and this Final Fantasy X villain looking motherfucker right here. Just guy who's all glowy and has dolphins and shit but he just he he honestly looks like an old friend of mine his name was josiah but like ugh, that is creepy like my hair can't do squid things why does his get to okay oh all his secure insecurities are just laid out to bear this person's just kind of You know how when, it, like, it, like, it, it, when you were a kid, you had an ice cream cone? And then you dropped it on the ground, and all you wanted to do was ball and cry. It's same thing. It's like this person sat their ice cream cone. It's all fucked up. Except dropping it on the ground, they stuck it in the microwave. I don't know why, but that was their situation. And they know that they're in a trap that they really want to get out of or whatever. I just don't know if they recognize it all. Because this wish fulfillment is just not, like, this person's still not fucking happy. Of course you're not fucking happy. Why would you be happy? You don't want anyone else to be happy, so, you know. Oh, God, I'm going to catch myself on fire again. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, I'm good. I'm going to put that out before I burn myself to death. Anyway, vibration and energy. Ace of Wands? Yeah, uh, motherfuckers just sleeping. <clears throat> Not even trying to fix themselves. 
They want that love though. They feel bad about how things went down. That's nice. I'm happy for you. And Scorpio season's dramatic as fuck, yeah. I can't believe those dudes actually pop them back up because I ain't seen them in like oh, I didn't even see you, bitch. My bad. Yeah, like they they feel like they can't even get out of the situation either. It's been like over a year since I haven't even seen this motherfucker. Where you been, yo? We missed you. We had They're delicious, you know? Yeah, they ain't rusting. I don't think that they understand that this is a bad combination. It's like they're really good at blinding the other person, too. <clears throat> Whoever they're trying to target. I don't think it's going to work, though. Because, like I said, like, they're a hobo trying to pretend to be Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one more card. Okay. Mm. Uh, and, and that's why they keep fucking their own world up. Good job, bro. That was kind of sarcastic. My bad. I'm sorry. Not really, but you know, at least I would be sad. I don't know. I have a horrible habit of saying I'm sorry instead of I apologize. But at the same time, like, usually I am sorry, so it's like, mm. I don't know. That came out of nowhere. Anyway. So, thoughts and feelings. Justice reverse, tower reverse, ten of pentacles. I think it's unfair. They want to reverse the tower. They want to be the goodest flight ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're not gonna bury this shit either. Oh, that is so annoying. It's like having like someone. It, it like it's so annoying. like they, they, they don't like no. I feel bad for this guy. I really, like, sure, he's evil, but, like, to be evil and kind of, like, useless is, you know, that's, that's, <laughs> it reminds me of this one quote I heard, you know, like, you, you can't claim to be, uh, peaceful if you're not willing to be violent. If you can't be violent, you're not peaceful, you're harmless. You know, if you're not capable of violence, you can't really call yourself peaceful, can you? I feel like this is a person who is harmless. You know, he want it, like he wants to have a conversation with this lady. Be like, look, I'll give you the world. I'll be your fucking Aladdin or whatever. I don't care. And she's just like, ah. like, like Lou. <laughs> uh, like, wanting to give this person something, hoping to let their guard down, and then like they'll act like a stern mother. And like what? Yeah. That is just Good job, man. Dude, bro, this person, um, I feel like they want to separate the two people so they can swoop in and try to get this bitch to open up, and then they can just be like, hmm, well, you have to earn my trust or something. Like, some dumb bullshit. Like, they set everything up to begin with in order to, like, cause some shit, and then, like, they come trying to swoop in and, uh, and stuff. Ugh. Roots of the thoughts and feelings, uh, their shit's there, they don't need to get out of the mess, they just don't know how to get out of their mess, I feel like, cause, like, this wish for someone ain't nothing, right? They need to look really deep inside themselves, grab a snake and choke it, you know, choke that, oh, well, never mind, I gotta be, but, like, apparently YouTube spends their time watching everyone's videos, uh, they need to look inside, but they're not listening to their intuition either, they just threw that shit. <laughs> they threw that shit. Yeah, they're also in their intuition that this shit isn't working. They're like ignoring it. Like they keep going inside and be like, I, uh, but they're still ignoring their intuition about how this shit's gonna go down, you know? All right, the vibration and energy. Someone didn't want to wake up to the fact that this relationship's kind of bad. One's, I feel like one's manipulating the other, especially with that devil card. And that's why the world's all fucked up. It's like, they don't get it. This is like, it, like it's almost like this, the magician lost an opportunity, and now he's trying to come back with some bullshit, you know? Very annoying. Uh, <clears throat> he wanna take a trip. <laughs> he's gonna trip his fucking ass up, that's for sure. Mm, bye. Uh, he wants to go somewhere with other people. 
Or maybe this is the person they're trying to draw the person you're sitting there waiting on the boat, like, hey, come on, baby, I'm looking for you. I got the rides, you know. That person might come looking for secrets. Could be with Cancer or Pisces or just that energy, right? Um, hmm. Someone's going to come looking for secrets if they go traveling. I don't know if it's this woman or something, but she goes looking for something. She wants to know something. Uh, that's probably going to piss her off. And this one just flipped up on its own enough to fucking fight for whatever. Like, oof. Like, so even if they get this person, that person's going to travel. But then they're going to learn shit. Then they're going to be fucking angry. And then they're going to come back wanting to fight. And they'll probably be victorious because whoever is upset about all these secrets and stuff and shit, they have every reason to come in and just whoop some ass, you know? Alright, so the Knight of Wands with the Jesus looking card, but he, the Knight of Wands is reversed. So it's just a blood sucking flea being ridden by some weirdo who's trying to basically look like fucking Jesus. Mm, ooh, yeah, just start some shit. This is what's immediately coming up for this person. Like, oh, like this person, this magician, or whoever it is for you. It could be a scenario, it could be people, but I'm just calling it the magician because I recognize this energy very well. Like, I still don't know who, like, honestly, for me, I have ideas about who the magician is, but I'm really not 100% sure. I just recognize their energy and shit. That's enough. Um, but motherfucker wants to just come in talking shit. Spread some gossip, spread rumors, smear campaign, page of wands reverse, that air and mental energy. They've been thinking about it and they want to fucking open their mouths about it. <clears throat> well, that's not a good idea. Um, <laughs> but they, they ain't got no connects. They ain't got no connects and they ain't communicating either. Um, they got love here, sure, but they're just pouring water on some dirt and being like, this is gonna make my flowers grow without planting any seeds, and the ghost dude's just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, and then the... Yeah. Who's this? Hold on. Let me look at this real quick. Someone's coming with a smear campaign. This ghost dude's the one who's being the... King of Cups reverse right here. In the dark. With emotions. Very bitter, but not really coming out and saying much of anything. <laughs> it's like they're hunting for information about this bitch. But it's like they can only connect with her almost like a spirit or something, like telepathic or some shit about like how displeased they are, how unhappy they are, all that jazz, I guess. Uh, obstacle challenge coming up for this particular querent people or magician. Um, fuck, I just had that. Four of pentacles with this guy who's losing his charm and beauty you know like yeah no one wants to be in a home where someone's just constantly like talking shit backhanded shit you know um giving backhanded compliments it's like this person is um way 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 too angry hello come on in you're fine i'm on the bed hold on Okay, y'all, we're back to the reading, so. I had to, like, stop for a minute yesterday because my boo came home and I love her. You know, my body's squishy, so. Yeah, I also finally got my hair done, so. Oh, that's on the fucking wall. What about that? <sighs> no, that was a hair on my camera. That was a hair on my camera. My bad. Anyway, so, yeah, let's continue the, um, Scorpio read because we're almost done, but. And then you can see where everyone else is. I actually haven't read this in a while. So let's get back to this. Let's recap with these things. Because, like, man, that's a lot of my hair in this fucking stuff. Anyway. Um, so let's see. On the last episode of This is Scorpio Season. Oh, yeah. Someone's trying to, um, 
What's coming up next? Someone's gonna try to come up looking like I'm a like a hobo, but they think they're Jesus Christ. That's basically equivalent like they're saving people from their shit, right? I'll just go and challenge because these are the last ones. You guys remember, but I don't, and I'm just going after these last two. Um, four of coins. This person is losing their image, and then something doesn't work with this Queen of Water in here. Um, this person is coming and looking like Messiah, this magician, or whoever it is. Just this energy in general. Scorpio season is fucking nuts, right? Um, looking for bad shit to talk about. Hmm. They do want to communicate. Well, it's not communication of the good kind. It's like, it's like that one bitch who tried summoning, like, a voodoo god, and then, like, everyone was surprised she died because she didn't see the right. In fact, she didn't summon the right spirit. Or saint. Um, because also this person's coming in to start shit, deliver things in order to influence the shit. This this is King of Cups off, but he's in the dark, so you really don't know. And not even could it even be Scorpio. Scorpio and any other water sign. There could be somebody. It could be a water sign doing this too. Um your water sign, they're a water sign. Either way, like someone's coming in to um voice either a concern, some information, but I, they're not trustworthy, I'll tell you that much. Um, they're not trustworthy because they're not saying anything, like, it's kind of like, you know, when, like, there's a couple who splits up, and there's always that one per, there, like, they, there's always two roles in a relationship breakup. One, sometimes, sometimes they take them well. Sometimes they don't, and when they don't take them well, they come in and just say whatever the fuck they can to fuck up. Whatever. And I feel like this is kind of what this person's doing, like this magician. It, it's almost obvious that's what they're doing, is um, trying to influence things so things can go badly. So be, be prepared for Scorpio season, because there's definitely going to be some motherfuckers coming in trying to start shit. But I don't feel what they're saying is wrong, incorrect, or a lie. At least this is this person's intentions, anyway. I don't think that they're necessarily lying or something, but it's like... You need to pay attention to the way they come to you about this shit. Because you gotta think, okay, you're telling me this information. Whatever the information is right here. Possibly about a feminine, since this ghost-looking dude is more, like, masculine than other thing. You might be saying something about a, a female, and the dude's just projecting there. Like, huh, maybe this bitch is a whore, or a cunt. Or something, right? Something like that. But this person comes in to just say whatever. And I feel like it's more important and vital to figure out why they're giving you this information. Because I feel like this is somebody, my dear viewers, right? If you're watching this, this is definitely not you. This is someone you're not even around. This is somebody who is um, trying to influence it from the outside. Trying to infiltrate from the inside. This person is a fucking snake, really. But you need to pay attention to why they're coming up to you. Because I feel like this particular person, and if this, for some of y'all, is the same edition that I've been reading for, which I'm pretty sure it fucking is, because it's very fucking familiar. Um, fuck, I think it's right here. Um, I feel like if you let your emotions get to you, this person's going to get what they want, and you're going to react the way they're expecting you to. However... If you pay attention to why they are coming to you with this information, or even ask them, you know, like, well, why are you telling me this now? What's the big deal? Um, why do you feel like this is important? You know, you're going to notice that, um, that, uh, they're talking about whoever this water bitch is in order to get to you. But I feel like they'll just bring up this person, you know? It's like a, it's like a person who sits there and, um, mm, how, how the fuck do I express it? I'm trying to explain this as best I can in my head. I'm so fucking angry. Like, cause this is just now catching me cause I'm looking over this now since it's been a day. Whoever, whoever these people are, individual situations, whatever, this is like, Definitely some Scorpio shit with some Mercury retrograde. 
it's like uh, exes are coming back, but now they're coming back with a vengeance. Like what? What was that video? Um, Ghetto Nun, because I usually like I really resonate with her shit. Dear Desperado, that one. Watch that one because I'm telling you, whoever is trying to come back, it's a person from the past. It's a person you probably don't you you, you know them, but you don't. Or might or like you knew them, but you really didn't, you know? It's like, you, it doesn't matter how much of a length of time you know somebody, you'll never really fucking know them, so. Surprises galore, but this is somebody who you really don't know. Um, and this person's trying to come in and possibly influence y'all to do something erratic, which is not a good idea, because if you let your emotions get ahead of you in Scorpio season, during a Mercury retrograde, mind you, um, then, like, there's Neptune getting in, con no, is it conjunct, or is it, um, well, Saturn's gonna be, go is, a is about to go direct back into Aquarius here shortly. Um, some of the planets are sextiled, Jupiter's fucking making, it, 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 Jupiter's just definitely making things way more exasperated than what it is, which sucks, because, like, I'm Sag rising, so my first house is Jupiter, so it's just like, God fucking damn it. Can I just have one break? One break, you know, whatever. But I feel, but that's the thing, it's like, all of, all of this is fucking wonky. The placements of the plants and everything, everything's wonky. Everything doesn't make sense. Yeah, see, look at, like, this motherfucker going to come in like a kitty, like, meow, and everyone loves cats, except people who are not cat people, and people who are not cat people are fucking wrong, right? This person's going to come in like a cat, um, almost like you're trying to parlay or bargain, but that's only for this, to make it seem like, yeah, whoever, but, this person's going to tug on your flag, but they're going to make you believe whoever they want because that's really what this is um they're gonna make them seem like they're tugging on your shit but that's only so they can get them away from you because that's that's literally all the gist it's like they're trying to set something up to make somebody look like shit that way that person is almost alone like you like you are a target but you're not the main target they're targeting somebody else in order to get to you um, they're using somebody possibly you care about deeply, even somebody you love, to get to you. They'll fuck with these other people to convince them that you are the bad guy. And you need to pay attention to that because I'm telling you, um, people who hate things don't go around talking about hating things all the time. I hate mayonnaise. Ever since I've seen my mom out of a fucking bottle and packets from Chick-fil-A. I'm not even getting into that. I'm not. Either way, I have an abhorrent hatred for mayonnaise. Unless I could put lime juice, um, marjoram, and some Old Bay seasoning, then it's fine. Other than that, no, keep that shit the fuck away from me. It's disgusting. I don't go around like preaching the hatred of fucking mayonnaise to people. So that's something definitely need to pay attention to. I'm really glad I looked over this again. Because now I'm looking at all the cars and it's just like, this person isn't even going after you. It's going after whoever is close to you in order to fuck you up. And then once you're alone, then they'll want to come in for whatever, but I'm not sure. So be very careful with whoever these people are or whatever the energies are, because like, it's all set up to fuck you up. It's all set up to like, fuck up your day, basically. Okay. Obstacle and challenge. This person's trying to be secure. But they're walking into a house of fire. And it's definitely taking away their charms and practices and shit. It's making them look like, oh, you're not that pretty. Um, they might even be, um... There might even be folk who were shocked that they kept themselves so secure. But the more that they, like... It, it, like, this person's walking into a burning building, but they look paranoid of what's outside a burning building. Like, they'd rather burn in the building than face the issue. But the problem is, because they'd rather go and secure themselves in a place, it's causing them to lose some appeal or lose something of, 
like something. I don't know. I don't know if they're doing this to the person who they're trying to get to in order to get to y'all. Um, but it's something right here. Mind you, the Queen of Cups is over here. The King of Cups is up here. And he's in the shadows about all his feelings. Like, he's got issues, but he ain't speaking in nothing. And the Queen of Cups is over here all pissed off after these secrets come out. Like, she's got a... Oh. I'm telling y'all right now. If you all let this energy it affect you... If you let this person convince you, or convince, look, it's not even you. Um, it's the person you are possibly dealing with that they're after. They're not going after you. They're going after another target. You know, like, the last, I think the last time I said this to you guys, um, they, it, like, curses and shit and black magic can only work for so fucking long before um, you gain a tolerance, right? And then it'll start affecting everything around you. However, there is nothing in the rules that says that, like, someone can manipulate another person with black magic, you know. Especially if that person already has that shit in their head or has the potential for shit in their head. Someone, like, you know, um, if someone is already, like, has the potential to do something, that'll definitely cause it. And if this person comes in and just starts doing shit, this person, whoever falls for this and rejects this Queen of Cups right here, She's going to find out about it, which I think is you guys, and then you all are going to come in one of the beat ass. Because the Queen and King are both not happy. Or someone's traveling to tell her that, and it's putting this dude in the dark shadow or something. So this person losing their stuff, they went through some shit. They're going through some shit. They need to see the light. Or maybe they're getting ideas. You know, being like, I went through all this bullshit. Wait, I know what to do, you know? So now they're offering this cup. Look, I'm sacrificing this for you. And I'm letting you know there's no fucking love. Mmm. Like, this person, it's almost like this person went through so much shit and then it's like, they decided, you know, like, I'm going to give this one cup up. Their emotions. This person's angry. They're angry as fuck. And you, I don't know why, you didn't really do anything, but, you know, they're angry. They're pissed. They, they want to take revenge out. And if they can't get to you, they'll get to whoever's closest to you. They don't care. Definitely could be an X, too. Alright. How everything ends in this result. The Queen of Cups is upright. Something doesn't work with her. Or something isn't cooperating. Or people aren't coming together with shit. Or maybe, I, but I feel like that's because, like, um, the way they went about it. Nah, because she can't. Because in the vibration and energy, like, she wants to pop up. At the same time, though, I don't think that she's a fool. And I don't think she's going to fall for the temptations, either. I mean, she will fall for the temptations, but she's not a fool, but I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. She doesn't feel very victorious. She's pretty actually pissed about this, and it's just like, you know what, you're probably negative empress energy, so fuck you, bitch, and turns her back to this shit. It's very indecisive about her emotions, what to do with some sort of newfound relationship, considering that she learned some shit she didn't want to know. Someone came to this Queen of Cups and told her some shit that put her straight in the fight mode. Like, she was in her emotion. That's why she was reversed. And then she, put, she became completely combative. She was just like, I will fuck all of you up or something. Or at least it's what this person's hoping will happen. Um, yeah, a boat has sailed. She didn't get on the boat. She ain't, it's like, it, 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 like, look it. They want this new beginning where, like, this motherfucker gets on the boat, but the secrets come out. They can't, like, the moon came out twice. Like, this shit isn't gonna work for her because the boat's already sailed. They're, they're still trying to get to you. I feel like they're a little bit obsessed with you. Like Joan Ferguson from What We're Kind of Obsessed. I swear to God, my girlfriend. 
I love the fact that we're both Capricorns because we both have the same taste and shit, but it sucks because she picks shit that I want to binge watch. And it's like, why? Why? This is why I like movies because I don't want to keep watching TV. Like, I don't know. I'm weird about that. It's like TV. Like, I get stuck on this shit and it's like, eh, I can't keep watching this shit. Boat sailed. They were a perfect fucking dream. Oh, they're expecting you to come back to them after they fucked this other person over. Yeah. And they still don't even realize that, like, they still don't realize that you all aren't even together. Gemini energy, like, totally fucked in the head. This person, all right, whoever these people are, um, very bratty and childish, probably even a mistress, or they consider themselves a mistress. Cancer, Pisces, you know, that energy. Um, but it's like they're mad about that. They're being a spoiled brat. It's like, they want to, I can't tell if they were a third person, third wheel or something, third party situation. Because the three cuffs right here. I need my girlfriend to see this, right? Baby. Merlin, oh, I can't see him in, but uh, he's asleep on top of the bowl. <laughs> that is like way too cute. I'm sorry. Like I need to clean the room up actually. I was going to do that, but then it was like I had to do other shit. So that's why that's a mess. That is not a reflection of my love. That is a reflection of my fault. So don't take it out on the babes. Anyway, yeah, um... This person might realize that there's no love. Or they believe. But are they mad because you don't love them? And they want to ruin your relationships? Is that what I'm picking up here? Like someone's jealous. Someone wants the commitment. They're hanging on to the shit even though it should die. And then they gotta just drop everything. Oh my god. That was a king of cups, too. But he's upright. So if this person just lets this shit go, it actually might work in their favor. But it's like they won't. I've already been talking for 18 minutes. I literally just started this. No, because I was rambling. That's why. I rambled a lot. My bad. He literally was sleeping with his head on the fucking bowl. For any of you who don't know, that's Merlin. He's my new baby. I actually got him while he was still the size of Harley. He is twice as big and almost nearly as big as Fat Man. And he's not done growing. And he's a Bombay. It's just like... Fun fact. Uh, my girlfriend's dog actually tried to jump on me the other day. And he came up to try to defend me. And I was like... Oh, my baby. Yes. Oh, they big mad. <laughs> they big mad. They big mad. They are so mad. And all that shit just came out. Like, look how erratic this person is. You crazy. Yeah, okay, whatever, bitch. And then, like, mm. And then we got the page of swords right here, too. Um, somebody realizes that this person who's coming in, they're not being gentle. And what they're saying don't make no sense. I don't know what it is that she's saying that don't make no fucking sense. It's it's like her posture or something or the way she's holding herself. I'm not sure. But there's something that she's... That's getting elaborated here. This Queen of Swords. It's like... You know, this is the time where nothing makes sense. And I almost feel like that's what's supposed to be wrong. Because it's like nothing's been making sense this entire fucking year. And all of a sudden you meet one motherfucker who actually can tell a story coherently. And it makes sense. There's something wrong here. It's backwards. And the king of... Uh, they might... There might be the counterpart the king of swords. There also could be this bitch. She might lose her shit. The person might tell the fucking truth. And someone might be a little bit blindsided after all this information comes out. For sure. Yeah, I feel like this person is trying to... um fuck with y'all's destiny trying to cause more delays trying to interfere trying to possibly even interject so they can um be part of the blessings that you get but the problem is is that there's another person in the way 
Like, if anything, they consider this a third party, even if you're not even dealing with them. Even if you're not even talking. Like, I mean, I don't know. Like, it doesn't even matter what you do. Like, they are in a relationship with you. You my boo. I don't give a fuck if you've been married for 30 years, my. You know, like, any of that shit. Which makes no fucking sense. What's coming up for this person? They need to come to the light, sacrifice the cup, and realize there's no love here. But they still want to, someone, are they either want to carry some of these swords, or they want to be, have their swords carried. Like, someone's carrying swords for a woman and a child. You know? This person could do whatever the fuck they would want to do. Like, it's like this butch, bitch is leaving all of her swords behind. She's just worried about her and her kid. This dude's carrying the swords and leaving his behind. He's not even worried about what's going on with his mental state. He's worried all about her shit. And then, like, that ends up just being nothing but endless arguments that don't have any resolution. Because it's just like, you need to worry about yourself. Instead of worried about all this other folk and all this shit. You know, great changes coming right here to where, like, you know, they're going to try to, like, break somebody's ankles. Or their horse's ankles. And, like, then someone's got to shoot their horse because they pulled some dumb shit. All right. Someone, Page of Swords, to walk up to someone and dissuade them. He's making the angels. Or looking for information because they come up with the information, right? That they were never really saved as much as they were set up. Possibly by King of Pentacles, or just that King of Pentacles 8 energy, that provider, whatever. Because that person was the Magician Reverse. Ooh. Like, whoever this is, the truth is, is like, energy is getting ripped away from somebody. Hmm. Someone getting their energy ripped. This is the longest shit. Yeah, because it doesn't help nothing. They aren't helping anything. They aren't trying to fix anybody at all. Or this person feels like they've done so much for this. Mm. They feel like, you know, I've done so much for you. I did this. I did that. And it's just like, well, if you're going to sit here and throw it in the fucking face, what did you do for me to begin with, you know? Like, I hate that shit. You know, I hate when someone tries to yank gratitude out of a person, you know? Like, if you're going to do something nice for somebody, then do it. But you shouldn't be expecting a fucking reward every time. I mean, you're not really doing it to help somebody. You're just doing it just to make yourself feel better, you know? Which isn't really helpful for anybody, I think. It makes it bad. Um, but this person, like, it's like, they go out of their way to do things. But the conflict is, is like, the reciprocation. Like, mentally, they want to... I ain't getting into that. I don't... You no, know, you know, dude, no. You're not even getting... You're not even getting that. Like, no, I ain't finishing that. You don't deserve it. After all the shit you've done in this, like this, it, like what? Person watching, this is not you. And this is not a person you're dealing with either. This is somebody who's outside of you, someone from the past. Um, I'm gonna fuck shit up. It's already a fucking plague. That's nice. Everyone it just wants to start shit during the middle of a fucking plague. During the second wave. They're calling it the third wave, but it's really just the second. Because, like, everyone's just now bouncing back up again. But that's because everyone got excited and thought the shit was over. Wrong! I'm pretty sure we're going to keep having to wear masks. You know? I'm just throwing my opinion out. Ooh! Four cups. Ten of cups. Lovers, shadow side in reverse. Hmm. 
I feel like the Queen of Cups is the one that snaps. Gets mad, whatever. Once this person comes in, if they go somewhere, right? They feel like the boat's been missed out on this love opportunity and they don't even know it's there. They're just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna drop these because it's easier than trying to carry this fucking burden. That's probably your person thinking this. It, like, it's not worth it. It's definitely not worth it. I don't care how much energy, how much time, how much patience, how much whatever. It, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. That's literally what your person's gonna end up saying. Either about you or whatever but it, it, it's gonna exasperate your person like they might even come out and try to say that like you're in an affair with them and that'll cause your person to um one of them moves because it's like i'm not putting up with this shit no more hey sarah did you get much no, I did not, unfortunately. I should make something, shouldn't I? Yeah. Last card. Yeah, and they're not going to end up giving anything at all. Yeah, your person, um, if they are dumb enough to listen to whoever's going to come in and say shit about you, you know, like, I hate that. Like, this person could be an ex. And if someone's willing to, like, I don't know, it's just, like, that I don't feel like this person was that significant either. I mean, if they were, it's from back in the day. They're not important now. Yeah, you're, what's going to happen is most likely during Scorpio season, for some of y'all, your person's going to listen to this black magician person. Most likely could dump you. Most likely will hold shit over your head. But that's because they're listening to a fucking, like, manipulator. So if they're willing to listen to a manip... If they're willing to fall for the fucking temptation and then start looking at other options, no matter what else they get or wish for, y'all, they'll never be satisfied. And the truth of the matter is, and they'll never get over it either. No matter how much they wait, how much they try... They're going to break their fucking horse's legs pulling tricks off in order to avoid a tower moment that's never going to fucking work. And no one's going to get a victory in this situation. So, that's up for your person to decide. Which is rather sad for them. Uh, well, this is going to be like over an hour anyway, so... So, if this, like, ah, oh, there's Ace of Swords. That's nice. Someone's holding on to some truth. It's just like, I'm a stabby bitch. Mm. So, if your person goes ahead and listens to this other person, what's going to happen to them? Well, we already know what's going to happen to them. Let's find out what actually happens to you. Well, you get out of this situation with the King of Cups right here. I guess that is the counterpart or whatever. They're on a fucking island, so, you know, he looks happy. I guess he's okay. Isolated, alone. There's a boat in the background, but I don't think he's focused on the boat as much as he is his own emotional stuff, because he is only focused on his cups. Might be waiting for a message. Possibly about a high priestess. Could be from a Pisces. I know, right? Isn't your mom, like... No, no, no. She's got Leo, doesn't she? She is Pisces, her, her Venus and Mars, bitch. Anyway. <laughs> Ew, yeah. You could get a message about some secrets. <gasps> Definitely from Pisces. Oh, I know who's she. Shh. Huh? I know who's she or her again. Her poor, poor soul. Well, yeah, definitely Pisces, because these are fucking Pisces' cards, I priestess and the hangman. Someone's got some secrets about being hung up with shit when it comes to you. And then they need a break, because they realize they probably lost a really good person. This person was not, like, your person, they probably, like, really loved you, they probably really cared about you. The problem is that they spent so much time worrying about, like, what this motherfucker's saying, that, that, by, that by the time... Scorpio season's over and like they actually get back to a regular headspace they're gonna realize what the fuck they did 
Like this magician with some of you, they probably will succeed. The problem is, is like they're just delaying the inevitable, which in the end is like, you know, they still aren't going to have you. It's unfortunate if they do influence this relationship, but they're probably doing you a favor because if a motherfucker is going to listen to somebody else about you, it's just like, you know, being like, oh, okay, whatever. Well, that's on them. You know. Saying, like, you know, kind of sad, but that's what happens in Scorpion season with Mercury retrograde and like half of the planets losing their shit. Nobody makes right. Nobody really ever makes right choices, and nobody ever fixes their mistakes during that time. It's usually after. But yeah, so that was Scorpio season. I'm gonna splice an hour long video together. Love y'all's faces. We'll see you later. Bye.